Hello and welcome to Michael's Homes HD, Prince Edward Island's number one source for high definition real estate video. Today we're going to do a very candid tour of 181 Baker Shore Road here in Grand River. Brand new home, just in the process of being completed. It's the only house in the entire waterfront subdivision, which will give you some absolutely amazing waterfront views. This shot's taken from your front deck. You can see the yellow church in the uh, background in the left of the frame. Obviously Grand River is frozen over here in February. It's a huge river which leads you out to the Gulf of St. Lawrence. And then the ocean completely unobstructed by bridges. It is a nice red sandy beach. And you're only about 10 to 15 minutes away from Summerside probably about 30 minutes to the Confederation Bridge. This is now pointing to the south. Stepping in through the side door, we're greeted with the main floor laundry mudroom, which includes a washer dryer and a little stainless steel sink to the left. Proceeding to the end of the hallway, at the end we have a half bathroom before the hallway turns to the right to the main house. Stepping into the main house, we have the formal dining area, which is open concept to the left, with double glass doors to the backyard. We have a very large kitchen, complete with dishwasher and over the range microwave. A lit pantry. And of course, the main dining room, which is completely surrounded with water views you can see for miles down the Grand River heading towards the north. This house has both heat pumps and electric radiators, which should both be very efficient. On the front corner of the house, we have the much sought after main floor master bedroom. And to the right, we have a short hallway that leads to a bathroom and a walk-in closet. Our walk-in closet is to the left or on the south side of the house. And turning the camera around 180 degrees, we have a double sink cabinet and a full-size bathtub and a toilet. The foundation or basement is about a four or five foot ICF, insulated concrete foundation, which is the best method for building a home on the water. In addition to the electric radiators, which would be your backup system, you have a propane fireplace in the living room and a heat pump above that, which will quickly bring this room up to heat. Above the kitchen and the dining living room, we have this open loft area, which could be used for a multitude of purposes. Now up in the loft, there's a massive window behind me pointing out to the backyard. And we're surrounded with a number of windows with water views. This room could be used for a library, a den, computer room, or maybe an additional bedroom. Bathroom number two upstairs is full size with a sink, bath, shower, and a toilet looking out to the backyard. Bedroom number two upstairs faces the back of the wooded lot. It has a ceiling fan, a double closet. Both bedroom number two and three have this little nook, which would be perfect for a little computer workstation for friends, family, or potential weekly rentals. And finally, bedroom number three sits on the front of the house, again, surrounded with windows, both with exceptional water views. The window coming up to the right, we can actually see the bridge, which leads us over to Allen Road, which brings you back onto highway number two. The other bedroom we videoed is across the hall. Here's our little computer nook and our double closet with mirrored doors. 